sourcing is one of the most important aspects of selling on eBay, let's be honest. And it's not just sourcing, you also have to be mindful of how much profit you're going to make with the items that you're purchasing. Hi, this is Philippa at the Reseller Toolbox, where we help you grow your reselling business. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to go through step by step how I source my secondhand items, um, how I check how much they sell for on eBay and how I decide if I should purchase the items I found or not. I have already made a video like this, but let's be honest, it's outdated. Well, it's not outdated, but it was my first ever video. Um, it wasn't complete. It didn't have all the information I wanted it to have in it. And it's just not landscape. It's not great. So I'm giving it a second shot. Today I'm going to be using Gumtree to demonstrate how I find an item and check if it's worth buying. Uh, but you can use this method for whatever platform you wish to use to purchase your items. So uh, some examples would be Facebook Marketplace, Vinted, eBay itself. I do buy items on eBay sometimes to sell on eBay. Uh, not at the moment because they're closed, but car boot sales. Charity shops, charity shops or thrift stores, like uh, you guys say in America. So you, this method will be helpful for whatever platform you use to find items. But if you are in the UK, then Gumtree is a website that I highly recommend using. So I am going to start sharing my computer screen with you now so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to open a new tab and go on to gumtree.com. Sorry. Ella, don't hurt yourself. She's playing the cupboard. And I'm going to look for toy bundle. That's normally what I sell the most. It already has my postcode and I've put within five miles, so not too far. I am prepared to go further away than five miles from home to collect something, uh, but I would prefer to do so that I'm collecting quite a few things in the same trip. And I'm going to look for something that I've sold before because that will be the easiest for me today. I want to make it as fast as possible. Oh, here we go. So there's an Octonauts bundle. I like selling Octonauts. They tend to sell really fast. So let's have a look at this one. £50 is quite a bit of money but it is a fairly large bundle let me see uh, it doesn't say anything about the condition although there are a few photos mostly what I'll be looking at is uh, the stickers in the toy make sure they're all intact or in fairly good condition especially if I'm paying more than um, I would normally be happy with. I want them to be in fairly good condition. Another thing you want to look out for in Octonauts is the condition of the clear plastic. It can get quite scratched, but mostly it looks fairly good. And also uh, you want to make sure it comes with figures. There's quite a lot of figures there, so I'm happy with that. Uh, what I will do as well before I move on to eBay is I will see this person's profile to see what else they're selling. And they've got a wooden train set. So I could potentially look at buying that one as well and um, just get two items in one trip, which would be great. But if I start with checking the Octonaut bundle, so if I search by the Octopod first, back onto eBay. So what I do is that I... Um, tend to buy things in a bundle and then sell them individually. I find that that's how I can maximize my profit. So when I search now on eBay um, to see how these items are selling, I will look for them individually. So if I look for uh, Octonaut Octopod. OK, so first of all, I'm going to see how much people are charging. Um, what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to change to buy it now because we never know well how much an auction is going to end for. And I do sell my items on as buy it now as well. So that will um, give me a better idea of how much these sell for. There we go. There's one with the green 
bottom bit it's got quite a few figures and this one is on for so 61 plus 8 pounds postage and let me just look at the condition of it as well yeah it looks in a very good condition with all the stickers so I just want to compare how this one looks like to the one that I will potentially be purchasing you can't really see the stickers that well We can see one there that looks like it's peeled off. Okay. So this is in a in very, very good condition for so £69 including postage. So what I want to do as well is um, actually check how much they sold for in the past and how often they're selling. So on the left here, when you're looking through the results, well, first of all, I'm gonna change this to used because I'm looking at a used one. And also, if you scroll down, you can select sold items. There we go. So now we're looking just at the, at the sold ones, but as you, you can see straight away, just looking at the dates, uh, so look, one's already sold today. Uh, one, two, three, four, five sold yesterday. One, two, three sold the day before that. So there's quite a few selling each day. There we go. We have, there we've got the green one with what looks like might be just a couple of fish and accessories. <clears throat> And this one sold for £55.7 pound for 40 postage. There's another one. This one has got a few gups. So there's another one with another gup. Oh, here we go. Again, just the pods with a couple of figures and a octopus. It's £46.6 pounds postage. So, I mean, it's looking good because this is just the, I'm just looking at the one octopod and then they've also got a few gups. So if I look at gap A. Okay, so let's just look at these gups quickly. So gap A, we've got one here for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Again, the same. This one's got quite a lot of figures. That's why we went for a bit more. Same again. Okay, so I'll just put it down as 13, including postage. I offer free postage, so I do all my totals, um, including postage. So then we have GUP C. I've made a list. So there's one for 23.50. There's another one for 20. 20. 20 and I'm confident that I'll have a figure that I can add to it as well because there's so many figures. So about 20 pounds for GUP C, GUP I, uh, this is quite a bit more. That's nice. It seems to have a tiny, a smaller GUP that goes with it or a car. Let me see. Uh, Okay, so unless it's inside hiding somewhere, I'm not sure if that's going to be included or not. So it's a little bit of a risk. And I think that considering how much they're selling for with the smaller car, I am thinking I can easily sell it for about 20, probably a little bit more. If it does have the smaller car, then it'll be a good day because then I can hopefully sell it for about 40 pounds. Next one. Gup K. Twenty three fifty thirty eighteen. Sometimes quite hard to price things when the the price is so different between um, solds. And this is why I'm always try and price my items higher rather than lower and then bring the price down if I need to. Oh, this is a remote controlled one. Okay, and we're looking at £30. Yeah, I think I can sell that one for £30. Gup S. I've had one of these before that took a long time to sell. Maybe I did price it quite high. So 16 20 20 pounds although that's got some small things that go with it. 
Okay, I'm happy to go with 16 for that one. Okay, I've got two gups to go. Gup Q. Hmm. Really? Oh, yes, it is there. Awesome. So Gup Q, 55 plus 4, so 60. So that's the same one. 60, 60. Now I'm just going to see if I've got that little figure and that crab. Yeah, there he is. No crab though. Oh, there's some sort of crab there. I'm not sure it's the same. No, it's not that one. But here, even here, just the figure and the gap. So 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 50. Right. 50 pounds. I'm hoping I can sell that one for. And then the final one up X. That seems to be the one. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, there it is. I have one of those somewhere. It's not here, which shouldn't be a problem because I'm sure I've got one somewhere. I just need to find it. Okay, so that one was for 19, 20, 21, 22. That's a big bundle. Uh, well, if I just go somewhere in the middle, so I say 17 pounds. When I'm trying to predict how much I sell something for, I would rather um, go on the lower side than the higher side, even though then I will price it for more and bring the price down if I need to. So what I've done is I've made a list of all the items that are included in the bundle and how much I believe they will sell for and a total. So that's come up to £216. Um, I've worked out ever since I started my business that my average expenses, including cost of goods, is about 50%. Um, so I would be looking at a profit of about £100 in this bundle. Um, I am fairly happy with it. It's going to take me some time to uh, clean them. I make sure I wipe everything really well and um, packing, photographing, listing. So it'll be a few hours. Now what I'm going to do is, well, first of all, I'm going to message this person to make sure I grab this bundle before anyone else does. And um, I'm also going to do the same process with the other item that they had up for sale. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be worth buying as well, because then I will bring two things home uh, in one trip. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. See you in my next video.